Greetings all. Um, this is sort of a video response to Ziploc Gory's um, video. Um, is it a sign of weakness uh, for a man? That wasn't exactly the title of the video, but um, that's basically um, what it was. And um, I say sort of a response because I'm really uh, taking this a little bit into a different direction. And um, um, this particular video here will. Um, deal more with the subject of loss and uh, um, I will tie it back I'll, t I'll try to tie it back to the subject at hand that Ziploc um, um, brought up um, right off the bat I'll say of course there is nothing wrong with a guy <clears throat> um, when the time uh, necessitates um, form to cry to go ahead and do so. Um, my situation has been this in terms of of uh, of loss. The first significant loss uh, in my life <coughs> was that of my mother. Um, it was 1979. I was just coming home from school. It was a spring day, maybe going into summer, and it was a nice day out. And um, when I made it home, uh, the big wood door, the big wooden door, was open, um, which, of course, it being warm weather, you know, there was nothing out of place with that. Um, I walked up the steps, opened the screen door. There was the first red flag right there. The screen door wasn't locked. Um, I went in, called out for my mother. There was no response. Called out to my mother again. Still no response. I wasn't at that time panicking, but I was concerned. So I went through the house, no one in the living room, no one in the bedroom. Um, my bedroom, I believe the door was closed um, and the door that was ajar was the bathroom, in which case I noticed what appeared to be um, um, body um, on the floor. I wasn't sure. The door wasn't open real wide and um, you know your eyes can play um, tricks on you sometimes. So I rushed to the door and um, when I opened it I was right. Uh, there was a body on the floor and that body was my mom's and though it was probably um, a matter of seconds uh, it felt like an eternity and um, my aunt I got my aunt she used to be um, at the time she used to be um, an RN, but she wasn't able to um, do anything to revive my mother. Shortly thereafter, EMS showed up. Um, just prior to that, my father uh, made it home. He rode with the EMS people and my mother to the hospital. Told me 
repeatedly by the phone. I did. And um, an hour passed, two hours, three hours. Um, and then around four hours later, I got a phone call. And uh, when I answered, my father, who was obviously um, searching for the right words to say, was able to muster up the energy to essentially struggle to get the words we lost her out to me and though you might feel that right then and there I just um, um, you know cried hysterically or something or started tearing stuff up or you know went um, just crazy um, I had the opposite reaction um, I kind of just shut down and um, was just in disbelief. Uh, I even hit the wall to even generate some sort of uh, emotional response and that didn't even work. Um, the following school day, I went to school not to alert the student body or anybody like that, just simply to go to school. <clears throat> just prior to um, the halfway point in the first period, that's when the floodgates opened. What was probably no more than a few minutes felt like a half hour to an hour um, of me just weeping and wailing um, uncontrollably. Um, so to tie this back to what um, Ziploc was talking about, when you're faced with uh, um, a traumatic event, the loss of a parent, the loss of a sibling, um, the loss of a close friend, um, and as Zip had mentioned, um, even the loss of uh, a pet, because, you know, face it, there's people out there who, um, for whatever reason, excuse me, <coughs> that for whatever reason are not close with certain family members, and their pet can sort of, at times, be like um, a surrogate family member. And um, when that pet is lost, uh, um, can be pretty much almost as traumatic uh, as a human loss. But anyway, um, like I said, to take it back to what um, Zip was talking about, you can't uh, internalize those feelings. You know, it will turn on you, it will turn in you, and basically just make you sick. Um, because whatever you're feeling, if you're not allowing yourself to have that valve within you um, for which you can let, excuse me, for which you can let off steam then it's going to manifest in some other way and you can either deal with the feelings you have um, in a constructive way or you can deal with the feelings you have in a destructive way and uh, I feel that ultimately you have to just come to terms with your situation find out find friends find family members that you can sometimes share your pain with and then if you don't have anyone that's that that's that close to you that you can find somewhere um, 
um, where you reside, a little small place where you can take a moment to yourself and um, and uh, just let yourself go. And um, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing. Um, you're not weak for feeling that way. You're just dealing so that you can go on with your life and do what um, the people that you loved, that loved you, would want you to do with your life and to hopefully excel and if not, at least live a decent life and, um, you know, just go on as um, best you can until um, um, your time is up like um, anyone else's. And uh, I guess that's pretty much uh, um, the gist of what it is that I wanted to say. And uh, hopefully, um, if this video goes through, um, I can come back with something that's perhaps a little more uh, lighthearted in nature. Um, until then, night out.